With his injury now behind him, Hopper can get back to training. And with that, the final checkpoints before Iron Man itself. One of which is obtaining a medical clearance certificate. Hopper has a pre-existing heart condition and suffers from asthma. So this is a necessary process. Coach Perry and nutritionist Ruth Marcus then cover the remaining elements before race day. We're in the final phases of Hobo's Biogen journey um, and really the focus will now shift to the race. And as he gets close to the race, he's gonna start to get a little bit nervous. When we get nervous, we get a bit forgetful. So what I'll be discussing with Hobo this week is to make a list of everything that he needs which will include everything that he's used up until this point. We've done a couple of races, so we've done some trial runs. Obviously none of them have been quite as long as what we're planning on doing, but he's been using certain products for energy. Um, he's been racing in kit. He's got his running shoes sorted, the socks that he wears. He's got his little routine and how he lays out um, his transition area. So that stuff, I always try and get people to write down so that they don't forget anything. The actual day is going to be a much bigger race than he's done or if somebody hasn't done a, a 70.3 event before. They're a lot bigger. There's a lot more logistically that, that goes on. So I also try and encourage people to get down there two days before because the day before actually isn't an extremely relaxing day. You're going to go to registration. You're going to take your bike and check your bike in. You're going to set up all your transition bags and get ready for the next day. And that all takes a really long time and there's also certain time slots where, where people can do that. So get into Durban two days before, familiarize yourself with the course where you need to be, where is everything happening um, and then the next day it will make those things a lot smoother and then you should have a, a couple of hours in the afternoon to just kick back and relax and then of course race morning will dawn, you'll be up really early and you get down to go and just check out your bike one more time, make sure your transition bags have got everything in them and to change bottles and just sort out any last minute things that are worrying you and then it's time to go. Um, and having that checklist is really useful because then you can just tick it off and there's really no chance of you running into T1 and thinking, oh boy, I haven't packed whatever it is that you needed. When Hobo looks back on where he's come from, he will be able to reflect from the, the pictures and everything that we've done that he's come a hell of a long way. He's done a hell of a, a lot of work um, and a couple of weeks ago he really crushed a similar bicycle route to what we're going to be doing. So although some of the training is in cut back slightly now that'll start to cause some doubt and you'll start to get nervous and I guess he's going to feel a little bit of pressure about everybody watching him but all he really needs to do in those moments is to take a deep breath and think about what he's achieved so far and how much work he's actually put in and how consistently he's put that work in and that'll obviously help him to relax and he should be able to then look forward with more confidence and believe that he's really got this in the bag. There are two aspects that I want to focus on because I do think they're very important and this is for race day itself. It's the supplementation that he will need to maintain his energy levels as well as his electrolytes. So in terms of the energy, that is what we call glycogen stores, which normally are depleted within about 90 minutes of exercise, depending on where the heart rate's sitting at. So for Hobo to not hit what we call the wall and for him to really struggle with depleting energy, he will be taking a gel likely every 45 minutes to an hour. In terms of his electrolyte, we will supplement there as well. Very important that his sodium and potassium levels are maintained at all times throughout the race. In terms of Hobo eating over the weekend, I do advise that he just follows the meal plan he is currently on without many deviations as far as possible. Hobo is still in a position where he does have stored energy, so there is no need to pile on the calories before the race. As we reach the finish line of Hobbo's Biogen journey, catch up on past episodes and a breakdown of his Biogen products used on the dedicated website. Also share your own Biogen journey with us to win unique training programs along with Biogen product hampers. Last week's winner was Sepiso Lejitlana, who entered via Twitter and is looking to keep being her best with Biogen.